Doe out there in TV land. This your boy Mo Nitty. Thanks for tuning in one more time to On The Clock with Mo Nitty. Today's guest is none other than Detroit hip-hop artist Dope Da Vinci. But before we get into the interview with Dope, as you know, this is called On The Clock. Let me set my timer, and we are on. So, Dope Da Vinci. What up, though? What's good with you? I want to ask you a question about the state of hip hop where we are right now as far as Detroit music. Uh, some people would say that Detroit music doesn't stand a chance of actually growing outside of Detroit because of the stereotype that we have as a whole, as artists and so forth. I just wanted your take on where do you think our music as far as Detroit artists is headed? Do you think that we have a chance to really go mainstream like New York did? Or do you see us just only being hometown artists? Man, I think uh, as far as talent goes, man, we have a lot of talent out here. We have a lot of a lot of dope cats. The problem I see is that there's no industry. So I think if cats read up on the game and learn the game a little bit, uh, learn how to learn how to work for themselves, I think Detroit could be the next big area. I think uh, I think we could be better than New York, L.A., and the South. I think we could really kill it. Um. That said, in order to grow, you have to have some type of support base. And um, I know that you and I have been out of town before where we've seen other artists and other states really get behind each other. How do you feel the support base here from artist to artist is as far as really getting behind your hometown artists and not just so much as far as music, but seriously, period, just supporting the people who you're continuously with here in the circle? <laughs> I think we're like crabs in a barrel out here. I think it's gotten a lot better in the past couple of years as far as supporting each other goes, but I think we have a long way to go. I think uh, I think we we could show some more support, be at each other's shows, put each other on tracks a little more than we do, rather than try to cut everybody else down. Right, right. Uh, I wanted to get away from music just for a minute. The fact that I know you a lot better than a lot of people probably know yourself and know me. Um, I know that for the longest you had been sort of like an advocate for cancer, mm -hmm. the fight against cancer. I um, want to know what inspired that. Well, first of all, when I was when I was young, I lost my my grandfather to cancer, and recently. Um, just this past month, I lost my mom to cancer. Uh, she was sick for about a year. And, uh, you know, it, it's something that's, that's close to my heart. Uh, you know, I see a lot of people hurting with cancer, a lot of people that I love. And uh, I want to try to make that better. Okay. And, and you know, that's, that's what I think we need out here as far as the community and artists. I think myself, we need to have more artists that's been more active with things that has nothing to do with music and being more of act, uh, what you would say like community activists somewhat. Mm -hmm. um, you have a CD out right now that you're pushing. It's not a physical CD yet. It's right. straight um, digital download. Mm -hmm. um, describe your CD for me. I think it's titled Seven. What's the meaning behind the title? Uh, well, it has, it has multiple meanings. Um, first of all, my birthday, July 7th, so 7-7. Seven, seven. I was raised on Seven Mile. Um, it, has, it has spiritual meaning, too. Um, you know, the world was created in seven days. You know, seven signs. Um, seven is the number of God. You know, can't be divided. Dude, now, you said... Um the seven has a lot of meaning to it and has, has a lot of uh, implication behind the seven. And I heard you say seven mile. And I'm not sure about the viewers out there that might not be from Detroit. But here in Detroit, seven mile is known as a pretty rough street, like from one end to the next. doesn't really matter <laughs> what area of seven mile you're on. It's pretty rough there. Do you find that when you go out to represent as an artist, being a white guy, mm -hmm. do you find that the artists at the Detroit clubs find themselves snickering and probably not truly believing that you're from Seven Mile? Do you find that to be hard for them to believe that yourself is actually from Seven Mile? Not really. Um, I think, uh, you know, I think it shows through. I think, you know, people people can see the real, you know what I'm saying? They recognize the real, and they know where I'm from. I'm saying, I, I've been out with you, and honestly, 
I'm going to tell you, the, the dude, he do stuff that scared the crap out of me. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're out here, and it was at the Hayloft, Mount Clemens, and there's some guys on the stage, they got red flags. Uh, I don't know if it was red or blue, because I don't get my colors right, because I ain't into that. And, <laughs> and whatever color it was, this guy had the exact opposite color, and he's waving it around, and they're waving theirs, and I'm thinking like, oh my God, that just came off my broke hand from the motorcycle accident. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be able to fight. Do we know what he's doing? Um, do you find that type of action to cause tension, or is that your way of bringing more unity? Oh, man, it's just more unity. You know, those guys, they they showed me love when they got off stage. I showed them love, you know. It was just my way of saying what up. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, that's been our time today. I'd love to do more talking with Dope Da Vinci, and I know you'd love to hear more about Dope Da Vinci. But before we get out of here, uh, Dope, let the people out there in TV land know where they can find the download for 7 and how they can keep up on your shows, your Twitter address, and so forth. All right. Check me out, GorillaDope.BandCamp.com, G-U-E-R-R-I-L-L-A, Dope.BandCamp.com. Check me out, um, you can check out the Gorilla Dope Facebook, you can check me out, uh, Facebook forward slash Dope Da Vinci, uh, Twitter, Dope Da Vinci, uh, Facebook, or MySpace, I mean, Dope Da Vinci, you can just Google me, all that will come up. Hey, sounds like you definitely got a lot of ways where people are interested to keep in contact with you. Once again, that's been Dope Da Vinci uh, on the clock with Mo Nitty. I'm your host, Mo Nitty. Why do I always want to say guest? I want to be a guest one day. I'm your host, Mo Nitty. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.